Okay, it's been a while since I've uh, posted some videos or photos, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about uh, the furnace that we've had put installed. I'll start at where it comes into the house. So, uh, this is a geothermal furnace of the uh, direct expansion variety. So that means that uh, the pipes that go out underground run refrigerant and not a um, water uh, glycol uh, mix. So the refrigerant will go out um, outside of the house. This used to be the cold air intake for our natural gas furnace. It goes out uh, and goes straight down outside the house where it goes down four feet underground and then it goes out about um, it goes out about uh, four meters away from the house where there are three um, three drills, three drill holes. There's one that goes straight down and two that go out on an angle. Each one is a hundred uh, feet long. So these six pipes will come in to the house and they run along here. And they, uh, they run along here and then they go into the furnace. Now the concept behind a, a geothermal furnace is to use refrigerant to, to make something that's cool even colder, thereby making your house warmer. Uh, so it's just moving heat, it's not actually creating heat. So we have uh, four pipes that go in, four pipes that come out. Uh, so the pipes that go in are usually a, uh, um, a, a thicker gauge. So what comes in is vapor. The vapor is compressed. It gets hot, the basic thermodynamics. It runs over a large heat exchanger. I'll show that in another video. And then uh, the compressed liquid uh, of the refrigerant will come out and go underground 100 feet down where it'll go into the wider aperture copper pipe again, expand, and suck heat out of the ground. So the other thing about the furnace is that it connects to your domestic hot water. So these are two pipes that go to our hot water tank. They come up and over. This is the old natural gas line. And this is our hot water tank. It's, uh, we got the biggest one we could get because the, the heating cycle for heating the hot water would be pretty slow. And uh, if you're heating hot water, you may as well heat as much as you can so you can ride out uh, any, any times where there's a lot of people having hot showers. So we got rid of our natural gas hot water tank. Uh, we have no natural gas bill anymore. And what happens is, this is the cold air, uh, the cold air, the cold water source from, uh, from the city. And it comes in at the bottom of the tank, so cold stays at the bottom. And here, it's joined up with another pipe. So one goes into the tank, and then there's this other pipe that'll go to the furnace. The concept being that when the furnace is running, it, uh, it not only heats up the air, it heats up the hot water. Um, I'll discuss this and the internals of a furnace in another video.